What's up, y'all? This is Chris Spencer's Almost Famous Vlog, volume number one. This is a um, a vlog dedicated to those people who are almost famous. They're, right now, they're almost famous, meaning they used to be famous, and now they're trying to kind of scratch their way back. Or maybe they don't care. I got a, Let's give a shout-out to Ted Lange. Where are you? I heard you're actually at a real bar, bartending. How's it going? Uh, Punky Brewster, what happened to you? I also want to give a shout out to our Lifetime Achievement Award winner who got nominated for an Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Rourke. He has made it back. Give it up for him. Yes, sir. Mickey! So let me tell you guys a little bit about fame. Okay, it's like the acronym FAME. F-A-M-E. For a minute, everybody loves you. That's right. There was a time when uh, I would get free clothes and free shoes and people would always want to do stuff for me. That's what happens when you're famous. And sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's not. It's like cocaine. Like, it's incredible when you're on it, and then when you're off it, some people can't handle it. Now, when I was on my show, I had big-time Hollywood celebrity friends. You know, you would see me at Patti LaBelle's cookout and Denzel's birthday party and playing basketball and big-time celebrity basketball games like Magic's Midsummer Night Magic. Is that what it's called? Midsummer Night Magic, something like that, where you... You play with the NBA guys as well as famous actors. I was in that. But then as the show started to, the ratings started to decline, so did my celebrity friends. Still had celebrity friends, but you might not see me and Will Smith playing golf, but there was an arcade in um, Westwood that you could catch me and uh, Carlton playing air hockey. Then as the ratings even got worse, still had celebrity friends, but you might just see like me... Kwame and Rodney King playing basketball at Balboa Park in Encino. Let me tell you how incredible and how horrifying and great fame is. Because uh, as you can see, there's a lot of these celebrities trying to get that fame back. That's why they're on these shows like Biggest Loser and I Used to Be the Shit and I'm a fart, fart now and put me back on. They want to feel that fame again. They want people to love them again. I'll tell you a story. I'm playing basketball, it must have been 1999, at the Midsummer Night's Magic basketball game. And uh, the game is almost over, and all of a sudden in the stands you can hear, oof, 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 and everybody looks up, and it's Rerun. Do you guys remember Rerun for what's happening? Now, in the 70s, Rerun was the man, okay? He got all the women. People think Raj got all the women because he was the lead, and Haywood got all the women because he had that pretty shag. Shirley got all the women. Surely did get a lot of women, but not as many as Rerun. He was the man. And now for 30 years, I don't know where he is. 20 years, and all of a sudden, this is 1999, and all of a sudden, you hear, oof, 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 oof. Rerun is dancing in the aisles. Oof, 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 oof. He's killing it. Excuse me. He's killing it. He still has on the beret. It's a little older. Still has it on. The suspenders, the pants. He's 96 years old. Going, go rerun, go rerun, go, go rerun. He's doing the splits. He's picking up little white kids, throwing them in the air, picking them up, throwing them again. He's doing it. He's going through all the different aisles in the forum. Now, Magic comes onto the microphone and goes, he's trying to get everybody's attention, but everybody is watching rerun. Go rerun, go rerun, go, go rerun, go rerun, go. Rerun. He wasn't popping, but I can't lock and hold the camera. So, even the people who were playing basketball stopped the game. We're three minutes left in the game to watch Rerun Dance. It was nostalgic. It was incredible. So all of a sudden, nobody's paying attention to Magic, who wants to tell everybody to calm down so he can get on with the rest of the festivities. Everybody's still, go Rerun, go Rerun, go. Go Rerun, go Rerun, go. Magic's like, okay, everybody, um, okay. Rerun is still going, go Rerun, go Rerun, go. All of a sudden, Magic goes, that's enough. You should have seen Rerun's face. Do you remember the Indian they used to cry on a commercial because there was litter and garbage on the freeway? Those three tears that went down like those Japanese cartoons? And he would say, only you. That's how Rerun looked. My stomach was in a ball. Other people who noticed it were also sick to his stomach. Why would magic do that to this man? And all of a sudden you saw Rerun lock off back into oblivion from where he came in slow motion. Now it was like, go rerun, go rerun, go, go rerun. 
He just walked off. I mean, the suspenders popped. Boom, boom. The little hat shrunk. Shh. And he just walked off. And I realized that's why they call him magic. Because he just made that nigga disappear. So now, now that's what fame is. But it's backwards. It's E-M-A-F. Those same people who go to the front of a club and go, yo, it's me. Now they go to the club and go, hey, it's, hey, man. Uh, forget it. How much it costs to get in here? Fame. Do you really, really want it? Chris Spencer, Almost Famous Vlog, number one.